if she said that she was going to whoop you, child, please, sometimes it didn't even wait till we got home, okay? You will be getting the ass whipping in the car. Nobody dared sat in the front seat with my mama, okay? When she is mad, child, please, y'all ain't supposed to sit in the back seat. Sit in the back seat because next thing you know, she'll be driving and she'll be talking and next thing you know, whoosh, your ass done got slapped, okay? And you ain't see shit coming. You ain't see it coming, you ain't had no, no chance to brace yourself, none of that. And, you know, I'm a lie, you know, back in the day, I used to be like, my mama, is, is this child abuse? This has to be child abuse. This cannot just be plain old discipline. Child boo. Child boo. Let's just say that my grandma and my aunties and stuff, they always was like lobbying in our corner to, you know, save us out of situations because they knew my mama didn't play. And you know what? I can appreciate it now because her being a single parent, she couldn't be no punk. She couldn't like, she couldn't play the radio with us. Cause if she did, we would have, we would have took her out. We would have. I just already know it. We would have took her out. And you know, next thing I know, uh, my mama would have been in jail. She wouldn't have been around to raise us because we would have done something. And my mama used to say, if she, um, if we went to jail, you might as well spend a night because you gonna have a better opportunity of staying in the jail versus me coming to get you and you know what i believe her i believe her and guess what to this day i still believe her my mama didn't play and so which means still you didn't play with her kids and y'all when i say i don't play with them when it, when i'm when i'm disciplining them i'm disciplining them i'm not laughing i'm not cutting the rug i'm not joking i'm not playing around I'm dead ass serious, and you know I'm dead ass serious. It's, it's that simple. I'm even like that with my nieces and nephews. I ain't gonna lie. I will discipline them and love them at the same time. And that's the difference. That's the difference. When you can love the shorties, still show them love, but still discipline them, and them still love you back. That's the difference. I applaud single parents. I, I, I applaud them because I'm married and yes, I have had to live the single parent lifestyle for four years when my husband had got deployed and I had to be, I had to be everything. I had to be everything to them. The, the person who dropped people off to practice, the people, the person who, you know, took everybody to school. And like I said before, I thank God for the angels that he blessed to be in my presence and around my kids. Because if it hadn't been for them, I might not be sitting here telling y'all this damn story. Because my, my, my oldest one thus far probably took me through the worst. That was a good kid, don't get me wrong. She was a good girl. It's just the shenanigans and it's the growing pains that kids go through, especially them teenage years. If I could skip that, go from baby to grown, I would be perfect. I'd be fine. As y'all can see, the girls that I've been blessed with are truly, truly blessings. Because I know some parents that have, you know, went through a whole lot worse. Let's just keep that real, okay? You know, you know, I've never had had it to where my kids have like snuck out the house. Granted, you know, I'm still I'm at 14 with Jada, okay? So I still got four more years to go to see what type of shenanigans that she tries to pull. However, every time they have gotten caught doing something, Jasmine, and she got older, she was like, Mommy, how do you always know? I'm like, been there, done that, okay? Hello? When you tried it and you could not uh, always get past Miss May Rose, child boo. You just already know the signs, the steps, the shenanigans that could possibly get pulled. Now, like I've mentioned, I ain't no saint. And you know, my, my just- used to be like, mommy, you know, you just seem like you was a goody goody two shoes. Like, you know, you didn't, you never got in trouble. Shit, the devil is alive. Why me used to always be whipping my ass then? Hello. So yeah, let's not, let's not say that at all. Cause clearly that ain't even the damn case. I'm just saying. This is where a lot of people mess up, okay? People want to be their children's friends. I can give a damn about being their friends. I'm going to be their mother first. Mama first, okay? 
and I'm going to do my job as their mother. And part of that is not being a friend first. It is basically loving them and let them know that they are loved. And I was talking to a young lady the other day when I was at the nail salon and she was like, I totally agree with you. Oh, okay, that's totally awesome. Well, that's awesome and cute. So let me just, uh -uh. Uh -huh. like that. I wasn't expecting it to be that dark. That's NYX Black Cherry Tart. I wasn't expecting her to be that dark. Oh well. We were just talking about how parents try too hard right now to try to be their children's friend versus being their parent. Good thing this ain't no makeup tutorial because I don't feel like fixing that right now. I'll fix it later. Any hoots, Jada and Jasmine, I just, you know, it's, it's, it's warm into the heart to know that your children can actually, can appreciate the type of parent that you've been to them. And just knowing like, you know, everything that I've been through with them, you know, I'm always, always, like, I'm notorious for punishments. I believe in punishments. And when I say punishments, y'all, I ain't talking about taking cell phones and shit away. No, I'm talking about some real deal, holy shit, feel. Punishments. Jasmine used to be a weave queen back in the day. Loved her weave, okay? Wouldn't do uh, nothing. Wouldn't walk out the house without a ponytail or nothing, okay? Well, honey, one of her punishments required the things that she loved. Now, granted, she loved a uh, phone. I ain't gonna even uh, sugarcoat that one. She loved a cell phone. Uh, but when you take that away, then what? Are they really learning anything? I'm gonna say, no, they not. They ain't learning nothing, because if that's all you're doing is taking it away, then what? Well, honey, I will hit you where it hurts. I have taken weave away, and when I say weave, y'all, I have taken the ponytail, and I have put the ponytail in a my Dutch oven, okay, and set that bitch on fire. Yes, and y'all know what synthetic hair do when it goes, <laughs> you burn it. That shit shrivel up into a little black ball, and it's done. I have burned the ponytail. I have made her wear her own natural had to grow out her damn scalp. I have made her wear her hair to work on school. And you know what? The sad thing about it is, why was that like such an issue with her? And it's just because girls their age, seventh grade, Jada done went through that phase already and I'm glad we passed it. You know, where they just feel like they gotta have long, luxurious hair. And like, you know, like they gotta look like Becky. You ain't Becky! You ain't got Becky hair! And you know what? I get so sick and tired of people talking about white girl hair and stuff like that. No, hair is hair. It's called textures. Textures. There are all different types of textures. Because even Becky can have coarse hair, okay? So I've had to school my girls on accepting them naturally and accepting your flaws and all, okay? Accepting it. You know, what that was a punishment for her because she loved weave, she loved drawstring ponytails, she loved half wigs, and this was like early on. For a whole week, she wore her natural hair. And yep, she went to school looking like Seely. Yep. I think one day she went to school looking like Seely, and then the other day, you know, she just put on she just put her hair up in her own ponytail. She said, Mommy, they didn't even seem face. She said, so it it hurt her more than it hurt her peers. Jada loves gaming. She loves TV. Okay. We took her TV. She had a seven year punishment. Show sure is. Mr. Long took the um, TV out of Jada's room when Jada was seven years old because Jada just could not get it together. She couldn't get it together with keeping her room clean. She couldn't get it together without eating in her room and she still ain't got that shit together. Y'all have seen in that vlog where I done went through the room and the shit was a disaster. Okay. Forks, spoons, knives, cups, bowls. When my shit started going missing in the kitchen, Go to Jada room, cause nine times out of 10, I'ma find it there. Now, she's still on probation when it comes to her TV. Cause that TV could get taken from her ass on any given day. Not any given Sunday, 
any given day. It could be taken away. She know I'm about the truth. And I don't play that shit. Okay? Okay. So, y'all, parents, and I'm really talking to some single parents too. Don't think that you have to be your children buddies or they pals or they BFFs. No. You're their parent and their parent first. God blessed you with the gift of parenthood and gave you someone else's life to be responsible for. Therefore, take that shit seriously. You got time to be their friend when they're grown and at your house. Jasmine, the best friend I could have right now. And you want to know why? It's because I know her inside out. She knows me. And however, she really my best friend now because you know what? That girl, it's been, she don't go back to school since August and you know she ain't even called and asked because she have five dollars all year long so far. <laughs> the regular scheduled program yeah as i was saying don't be your friends your kids buddies that ain't what god intended you to be y'all could be buddies with nick ass grown that's when you could be buddies okay so i hope y'all enjoyed this get ready with me story time and yeah as always i'll see y'all in the next video and here are some options for the next get ready with me what are they jada these are some choices and y'all can put in the comments below which one y'all like to hear next. My college experience, how I told my mom I was pregnant, and how I've always got every job I've ever applied for. Mm -hmm. So if y'all want to see those videos or them stories or hear them stories, be sure to comment down below and let me know which one you want to hear next. All right. And on that note, I'll see y'all in the next video. Alright y'all, let me just go ahead and tell y'all the scarf that I'm wearing today was actually $4 and I thrifted this last week. The sweater that I'm wearing I actually bought at Play-Doh's Closet for $4. The jeggings I purchased last week at Goodwill for $4. And the boots I'm wearing was actually $10 and I got them for half off which make them $5. This is an original Speedy purchased at the Louis Vuitton store. And I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me because honey I enjoyed telling the story. And I will see you guys in the next Get Ready With Me. So be sure to thumbs up, like, and subscribe. See y'all in the next video. Bye.